over the next year and say, oh boy, well this year I did a little better job or I had a little more nutrients, well fine. Yeah, then, but, then that's yeah, but it, it, it all depends on your rotation and that's kind of what we're getting at here. If you're strictly in a wheat rotation, like many people are around the country, then go ahead and do your sampling every year in August. If you have a corn soybean wheat rotation, you're not going to go out in 10 foot tall corn to do soil sampling in August every year. So if it was me, I would wait until we get a little later on in the season. Now, I don't think I would wait until after harvest. What I think I would do is right before I'm going to start my soybean harvest, then I would go out. Oh, uh, come on. See, here's all I think Brian wants to have a little bit of vacation. We got the wheat off. Okay, now let's take a break for a while before soybeans are ready. When soybean harvest is just a couple days away, you're yep. going to be getting the combine ready. No, that you aren't going to want to go soil say, Oh, you know what? No, I can harvest is in a couple now. days. I'm, oh, yeah, you're taking vacation. <laughs> you know it. No, seriously, you got to get the work done when you can. And that's the great thing about when you've got different crops and you've got a little break in the action. You've got the wheat off. Now you've got just a little bit of time before you're going to harvest some other crops or start seeding winter wheat. So go out and get soil sampling done now. You've got time to get the sampling done, do the analysis, and you've got time to do it yourself if you want to. If you want to hire somebody, that's fine. And if you want to do it yourself, you actually do have some time right now. Well, here's one of the nice things about sampling now. You can put your plan together a little bit better. So going into the fall and buying your fertilizer, getting all that spread, everything else, you can say, all right, this is the information I've got. Now I'm going to go plan accordingly. You can't do that when you harvest your corn on November 15th. You're going to soil sample it, then. you don't get the results back until after Thanksgiving. How are you going to get fertilizer spread when the ground froze? You can't do it. Yep, that's right. So when you're doing the soil sampling, there's a couple of things. First of all, how deep are you going to sample? Where are you going to pull samples from the field? There's a lot of different issues right, that let's, way. Let's just take one question at a time here. Okay, so how deep are you going to sample? What we would suggest is going down six inches in all of your samples. In addition to that, at least take a couple areas in a few fields and go do a 6 to 12 inch sample, a 12 to 18, and an 18 to 24. So you can see what's going on down below the ground, at least in a few samples. I'm not saying do this on every one of them, but at least take a few so you know what's happening down below the ground. Okay, where are you going to take these samples at? That's the big question. You can do grid sampling, you can do zone sampling, or you can do what they call composite sampling, which we don't recommend. So we're standing by a 210 acre field right behind us, and there are some people who will just take a bunch of samples around the field, mix it all together, and say, well, that's good enough. We definitely do not recommend that. Now you can go out and grid sample if you wanted to, and say every one or two or three acres, and just have it exactly sectioned off in that whole thing. That's one way to do it. It's more expensive. You have lots and lots of samples there. So what we do on our farm is kind of a combination between the two. We will use what we call zone sampling. So we'll sample the side hills separate from the hilltops, separate from the valleys, and we try to sample in different soil type areas. You can look on the soils maps or something. Now when you're doing sampling, we want you to run a complete sample. So make sure you're getting things.